Get ready to copy these DFC settings. You're listening to the dangerous mind of Mark Yoshimoto Nemkov. No excuses, no hey BS, no pants. So since putting out that DFC video a little while back, I've had people contact me asking me for my settings. And since there's no way for me to send you the preset file, at least I don't think there is, right? And since Universal Audio does not offer my settings as a preset, which they probably should, <laughs> I'm going to have to do it this way, all right? So we're just going to have to do it the old-fashioned way. I'm going to show you my, my parameters, copy these as a template, and start from there. Now, remember, these settings are all, you know, dialed in for my environment, my booth. So your results may be different, but I know that people have asked for at least a starting point because it is a little bit of a learning curve, figuring out how to use this thing. So instead of turning knobs and hoping you get a result, start here, all right, for VO. Just start here. All right, so first we're going to talk about the filter, right? We want to filter everything below 60. Now, depending upon your voice, you may want to drop that to 50. That's fine. But at least 50, 60. You got to put this in at the beginning, all right? You don't want that bottomless low end. That bottomless low end is just going to ruin your VO. It may sound nice to your ears. You may think, wow, my voice sounds deep and big. But everything really below, everything really below uh, 70 is, is kind of problematic. But I think if you dial it back to 60 or 50, you can get a little bit more authority. There's good meat in your voice around 50 or 60. So as long, it depends. If you have a foghorn voice, you may want to increase the frequency range of the filter. But set it for 60, 12, right? Low frequency, right? These are your settings here. Now, I don't have the other filter on the other end enabled, but if you have a mic that sounds peaky, dial it to 15, 6, right? HF. Simple as that, right? Let's go to the compressor. Now, really, I don't really need a lot of compression here, and I can take this out. And as you can tell, it's, it's really, it, it's pretty transparent. I can set this here, and even though you hear it, okay, here we go, right? I mean, that's, that's a fair amount of compression. And I think this sounds better without it because I'm using the limiter. And the limiter is just set at zero, 250 attack, 25, super fast release, okay? So I'm just, I'm keeping that in place really just to make sure I don't overmodulate the system. And as you can see, I like going in hot. I think this actually, this plugin sounds best in the yellow. And this keeps me from really uh, peaking and, and distorting. So it's perfect for what I want it to do. Like a broadcast limiter. It, like a, it's brick walling it in a way. But in a gentle way. It doesn't sound, it doesn't have that pumpy, weird, limiting compression sound. And if I really want to, again, I can just put a little tiny compression up there. Especially if I'm doing, especially if you're doing all kinds of dynamic voices. And you're all over the place and you're down here and you're up here. <laughs> Sorry. So you may want just a touch of limit of compression, depending upon what it is that you're doing. But as long as it sounds natural, that's all you need. All right. Expander gate. So here, going back to this, th these are my settings. Ratio 2.5, fast attack, super fast release, right? Just a tiny touch of compression if you even need it. Expander gate. Right, here we go. This is the most important part. Pay attention. <laughs> so, set your expander here, set for 33-35, ratio 1 to 31, 250 attack, 221, 225 release. Now, this is set up in a way, oh, and the knee here, 15, depth 33. Now, the depth, of course, is this little tail. And you can, oh, look at that, it's like he's dancing. It's like a Bob Fosse thing here. All right, so, da, 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 da. All right, sorry. Um, I get distracted easily. So this will help you keep it realistic sounding. And your right here, your threshold will change depending upon your needs, your environment, and what kind of uh, extraneous sound is outside of your recording uh, area. You know what what's affecting your sound may is going to change with the expander. But one thing that you really want to do is you just want to make sure this sounds as natural as possible. Okay? 
but start here. Again, this is a starting point, a jumping off point. And your results may vary and you're going to have to probably adjust. But, you know, instead of just turning knobs and trying to find a result, start here. The gate, the gate is just a backstop. The gate is always set around 60. And that's just in case I get a little bit of extraneous chatter. Sometimes you get a little extra noise. Sometimes, like, if, if they're, uh, somebody's mowing a lawn next door or a trash truck comes by, sometimes you get a little bit of noise outside of your recording area. That will just be enough to trigger the, uh, well, to, to really just, you know, sneak under your expander. So really just this just takes out that little last bit of like refrigerator hum. Just it's a little again, backstop. So I said for 60, 250, 156, real fast release. Don't worry about these. Okay, so that's it. So copy these settings. Start from there and make it your own. But again, with any preset, it's a good jumping off point. And so hopefully, oh, here we go. Last things in place here. So with your EQ, right? I always just kind of hip pocket a little bump at 100 because it just adds a little bit of authority when you need it. So if you're if you're doing like an insurance read or something like that, something where you need to sound uh yeah, something where you have to really um give a little bit of a more of an authoritative uh voice. And you need that little bit of, that hundred, that little bit of a hundred makes a lot of difference. It makes you sound like you have, uh, you know, bigger huevos. So it's your huevo <laughs> frequency. So you, and you take it out, there's a difference. So it's a little bit more natural, a little bit more authoritative, right? So, and these right here, these notches that you see here are for resonances. And I'm going to do a, a video about that later. But so what you want to do here is I use the channel strip to give it a little bit of overall EQ so that I, I like how my voice sounds coming out of the channel strip. And the EQ here on the DFC is surgical in nature in order to help me um, make sure that my sound is optimal and free of uh, weird artifacts. So we're going to have to do this a little bit later because I got an Amex VO to do. So anyway, we are on track here to really cover the DFC in a way that I hope helps you because this is an amazing plugin. I am not employed by Universal Audio. I don't get anything. I don't get any remuneration for plugging the living crap out of the DFC. I just love this thing. I think it's an essential part of my VO chain. All right, I want to know what you think. Leave your comments below. All right, until next time, this is Mark Yoshimoto Nemkov, fading to black.